now with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, we're tracking some nasty hailstorms moving across the greater Cincinnati metro area as we speak. Here's our tower cam shot from here in Mount Auburn. As we're looking out towards the west, you can see a little bit of what's left of the sky out there. But this is that big hail producing thunderstorm moving down the west side of Hamilton County here. You can see the heavy downpours now beginning to overspread downtown. The good news is that the actual hail cores are relatively small, but they're packing quite a punch if you happen to get hit with some of these larger hail cores across the area. Let's get you in. We're tracking two distinct thunderstorms right now. One up across southern Butler County, the other one across western Hamilton County here. This storm has been quite intense over the past couple of minutes. I've seen numerous reports of at least quarter, half dollar, even ping pong ball size hail here with this thunderstorm back near the Cleves area just a few minutes ago. Now, one thing I have noticed here in the past couple of minutes, it doesn't look quite as intense as it did about 10 to 15 minutes ago. Notice how that black kind of fades out of the thunderstorm, and there's a little less pink and magenta shading in there. Still, this is an intense thunderstorm. Here's the heavy rain over downtown Cincinnati, but look over towards Dale High and Sailor Park. This storm's going to drop down into northern parts of Boone and Kenton counties here across northern Kentucky. Jennifer, give me a time track on this storm as it drops its way off towards the south and east at about 20 to 25 miles an hour. I would not at all be surprised to see this warning extended across Kenton County and into Campbell County here as well, but here are some times there. You can see Dale High practically on top of you now, Fort Wright at about 636 here, Highland Heights if it makes it all the way and to parts of Campbell County, about 645, practically on top of us here in downtown Cincinnati as we speak right now. Let's show you the hail tracker on this particular thunderstorm, and you can clearly see here the core of dangerous hail that we're tracking. If you notice back towards the areas west of Dale High, up towards Sailor Park, and then once you get over towards Miami Town and look on the edge of your TV screen here, that very bright shading, that's probably that ping pong ball size hail that was reported with this storm. But notice you're seeing less kind of purple and blue within the hail tracker. That lets me know that this storm probably not putting out quite the sizable hail that it was a few minutes ago. So maybe not quite as large the hailstones with this storm as it drops into northern Kentucky here in the next couple of minutes. But we'll keep a close eye on it either way, making for a terrible evening commute across the area. The other big storm is up here in southern parts of Warren County. Don't see the warning extended just yet for this thunderstorm, but boy, nasty weather up around the Mason community up towards 22 right now. This storm has had a report of at least producing some quarter and half dollar. Size hail. This is when it was back over near Hamilton and Fairfield about 15 to 20 minutes ago. So it too is probably still at least producing some penny, maybe nickel size hail with this thunderstorm into southwestern parts of Warren County up towards the Blue Ash and Mason areas. And there you go, the warning was just extended. Jennifer, if you will, give me a storm track on this one. It also is moving down. You can see the warning has been extended into northern parts of Claremont County. For this particular storm as it drops off towards the southeast at about 20 miles an hour. Goshen, Mount Repos, up towards Loveland and Deerfield, you're all in track for this particular thunderstorm as well. So we're tracking all these hail producing storms. It's going to be storming here over the next couple of hours. After about 9 or 10 o'clock, things will begin to quiet down. We'll drop to about 64 for a low tonight. And then tomorrow, a much quieter day once we get past these storms. Warm sunshine, it'll be comfortable. Look for a high up around 86. Here's your seven day forecast. We get a couple of days of dry weather in here. Tuesday and Wednesday, very comfortable weather tomorrow and then again on Wednesday. But then it looks like as we get into Thursday, another good round of showers and thunderstorms, followed by right now a things time out as it looks on the seven day, we should end up with another nice August summer like weekend with warm temperatures and low levels of humidity. All right, Kevin.